The Hawkeye series was one of the better Christmas stories the MCU has seen so far. However, its offspring, the Echo spinoff series, will likely bring street-level crime to the spotlight. And with so many characters rumored to be part of it, both already existing in the MCU and a lot more newcomers, I decided to take matters into my own hands and give you a first look into the series. And with that in mind, let's dive right in. Aliqua Cox, the Native American actress, will be reprising her role as Maya Lopez, aka Echo, in the near future of the MCU, in no less than her very own Disney Plus spin-off series, Echo. Over the last year, ever since the Hawkeye series released on Disney Plus, in the closing months of last year, the crime in the streets have been given more thought and just how much effort someone has to put in in order to take over control and serve as a staple to how far the Earth street heroes will go to prevent the bad guys and all their plans, whether they are of small margins or just a start of something even greater than the Earth's mightiest heroes to date. Details about the project, as you might have suspected, are kept a secret, much like all Marvel projects so far, and the ones to come which is not a surprise at all. However, there are some bits and pieces that I managed to gather just for you. And without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, I should mention that there will be spoilers up ahead regarding the Hawkeye series and a few other characters that might get involved in the series. You have been warned. And with that out of the way, let me continue. As time passes by and the series comes closer to being released, I am sure that there will be more details that will come to the surface. But up until then, this is everything that I have garnered for you right now. The production of the series has already started, and as of right now, the series has been slated to release sometime during the summer of 2023. And seeing how impressive Marvel's roster is right now, the series will probably find itself jam-packed with characters, all there to make an effort and have a say in things. But more on that a little bit later. Working behind the scenes is lead writer Marianne Dyer, the talented writer who created the show itself, who will also be joined by the likes of Ken Christensen and Dara Resnick, with the two of them already familiar with the genre and the narrative of the series, as they have already written an episode or two for Netflix's The Punisher and Daredevil series, respectively. Sydney Freeland and Catriona McKenzie will serve as directors of the series, and Ethan Cohen and Emily Bowen Cohen are there to fill in the spots as executive producers of the show. It is made clear that the MCU is always ready to diversify its cast and characters, something that will not change for this series as well. And I am saying this because outside of Alakwa Cox, there have been other cast members already confirmed to be part of the series, including the likes of Devry Jacobs, after making a name for herself through the series Reservation Dogs, with her character going by the name of Julie, a strong-willed and resilient character with a complex background of her own. Then there is Zan McLarnan, who will return to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, he will be back in the role of Maya Lopez's father, William, a character that he played in the Hawkeye series, as well as Twilight actors Graham Greene and Chase Spencer, in still undisclosed roles. The last two confirmed cast members who will take part in the series are Smoke Signals actress Tantu Cardinal and Four Sheets to the Wind star Cody Lightning, with their roles yet to be officially presented to the public. Outside of these characters, many fans are expecting Vincent D'Onofrio's Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, to make a big return in the series, with the series there to explain as to how he survived after being shot by Maya Lopez herself in the closing moments of the Hawkeye series. And of course, Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, who I personally think will have a huge impact in the series, with the events of the series eventually tied to his very own series to come. Daredevil Born Again, especially after the confirmation that Echo herself will be part of that series. As for the story side of things, nothing concrete has been said about it, except that the series will pick up right after the events of Hawkeye and will showcase Maya's journey towards heroism. Now that she has abandoned Wilson Fisk for having her father killed and left the tracksuit mafia behind, the aforementioned character of Julie will probably be one of the closest allies Echo will have in the series as she starts her new life away from her dark past. 
the return of Maya's father surely indicates some flashback sequences throughout the series, seeing how her father is already dead, a narrative that will likely dive deeper into Maya's past despite her efforts to move away from all of it. The official synopsis for the movie says that Maya will run into some trouble, with her past there to haunt her, and that she will be reconnecting with her Native American heritage and her hometown community to move on with her life and with her past. Other than that, no details surrounding the series have been confirmed, with much of the details still kept under wraps by Marvel. Thus, we will all have to wait and see how things will turn out and learn more about the series when a future official teaser or a trailer of sort drops on the internet. Outside of the main storyline and the characters involved in it, one thing I will turn my focus towards is the connection that the series will have with the Hawkeye series, which is understandable seeing how it is a spin-off series from it. Particularly, the connection Maya Lopez will have with Clint Barton's alter ego, Ronan, with her there to redeem the complex reputation of Vincelante, with Daredevil and Wilson Fisk there to be even more involved in the things to come, especially Wilson Fisk, because of him being the one to give Ronan the task to kill Maya Lopez's father. Despite not knowing how he survived after Maya shot him, the Kingpin is, and probably will be, the best overarching villain of the series someone who will play a huge part in the events to come. Put together with a connection between Matt Murdock and Maya, who have a complicated history in the comics, a story that also includes the likes of Marvel Comics' first appearance of Ronan. There, it was Maya that first smashed the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. However, in reality, it was Maya who first appeared as the Ronan character, something that will play a big part in the series, as everything gets cleared out. And as the series goes deeper and deeper into Maya and Ronan's real origins, I am starting to think that the Echo series could very well set up the upcoming Captain America New World Order movie, with Captain America eventually recruiting her, which would go so well with Sam's recruitment of new allies after the events that will be told throughout the Secret Invasion series. Allies that are comfortable in the shadows, a list that outside of Maya could include the likes of Daredevil and Hawkeye as well. And I know that you will say that the next Captain America movie story will likely be taken directly from a story arc in the Marvel comics of the same name. But to be honest, the connection is surely there. And judging how Marvel managed to pull all the things so far regarding the characters and the stories they are involved in, I have no doubt that there will be something coming for Maya Lopez even after her series ends. All in all, Echo is probably one of MCU's most underutilized street-level heroes, something that will likely change with the series. Not only because she will be the main character of the series, but also because of the attention the series got over the last couple of months indicating that Marvel Studios probably has prepared something big for the character moving forward. To close things out, if the series sees Maya Lopez become Ronin in the MCU, you will be seeing more and more of Aliqua Cox's character in the future of the MCU. See you in the next video.